All right, we finally got in the Cusco carbon wrapped rear strut tower brace. And uh, this is how it came packaged. Literally just a bag inside of a box. And you can see it's already damaged. All right, so just got out the bag. And I don't know how well this is going to show up on the GoPro but it's starting to separate right there right there you can see bare aluminum there as well you can see bare aluminum another separation some more bare aluminum like just not a very well packaged product right there you can see a little bit of scoring it does seem like it might be kind of sturdy um, the mounting points are gonna go in pretty good based on what i've seen so it should perform well hopefully it does new nuts we've got some carbon fiber pulley covers to put on as well so to start you gotta get your mats out trunk covers anything you have in the trunk really so they just pull out pretty simple it's also a good excuse to get it all cleaned up if you need to clean out your trunk then there's this little handle Besides fold, I would recommend folding them up. It makes it a little bit easier. And then it just slides out. Easy. So for this, you will have to Cut into the sides a little bit because like right here is where it ends up mounting in so you will be doing some trimming all right so now we got to get all of the interior carpet and trim and everything out because it's going to go right there so to get this piece off you've got these three little panel clips so get yourself a flathead screwdriver panel popper and then see if i can even get this panel popper in there for you to see should be relatively easy and then boom so do that to the other two now that you've got those three out, you'll just pull this up. I already broke it loose, but literally pull up towards you and you've got that part out. Now you can go through and get the rest of the trim. All right, so in total, there are 10 panel clips on each side. Now that I've gotten them out, I can kind of show you where they are. So this will be the back of the trunk. You'll have one at the top around the bend, two right around this little panel, and then two at the front. For the left side, or passenger, or sorry, driver side, we're gonna have the two at the front, two in the middle, and then one at the back of the trunk, so it's identical to the passenger side. It will be a little bit easier to get the pieces out if you pull these styrofoam pieces out I didn't want to deal with that but it does look like it's a panel clip on the like inside kind of where the spare tire well is on both of them and then it should just pull up keyword is should because from rotating it it's rotating from right there and it lifts so just pulling that one piece out 
should come out and if you want to do the front you've got those three right there but now this right here is where the strut brace is going to mount so now grab your 14 mil and then just take all four of these off So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the bar after I mock mount it and to separate it you're going to need a 17 millimeter and a 8 mil but the reason why I'm going to separate it after I mock mount it is so I get it on straight and get the brackets mounted down and then pull the bar off so I know where the carpet and the uh, weather mat need to get trimmed. All right, so to make it fit and to get the brackets flush, I did have to loosen it. So now what I'm gonna do is tighten it down with the actual cross brace still loose so I can make sure the brackets are flush and I'm gonna throw in the included hardware, which is also gonna be that 14, the same as the OEM size. So it was easiest to just pop all the trim in and then put the uh, spare tire cover in so you could get the little carpet bottom to line up and then just kind of mark where you need to cut the holes. It's very difficult to see because it's late and dark now, but this one did split. I do kind of want like a OEM-ish look so instead of just cutting slits and having an open square, I just cut little slits and popped them through. I can clean it up later. And now for doing the WeatherTech mat, if you have it, <clears throat> I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just lay the mat in there, press down on it so it kind of scuffs where I need to cut it, and then do the little slit and pop it in. At, what was I, that rating? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how honestly they could even sell something like this. Especially for the price that they want for it. $156. $156. With it on sale. So when it's not on sale, how much do you think they want for it? For the AC I mean, I, I already think that like for how much they it's on sale for is way too much. $350 is what it was originally priced at. Now they're coming down to 250. So I got them at 156 because it was a huge, huge sale. No. Yeah. This is like the, th book. the thinnest, jankest shit that you could buy. You would think that like it would be like a pop on overlay, but it's not even, it doesn't, it doesn't do that either. 
And I can guarantee you, as soon as you fucking put these on, it's going to make it, I don't know, five miles before it starts to crack. <laughs> it's so thin, it's not even funny. Well, guess what? If I had my micrometer, I'm going to do that, actually. <laughs> I'm going to fucking, because you can tell. I mean, that is just, I don't know if you guys well, can here, fucking see that shit. Let's get it under the light. But, I mean, that's just fucking ridiculous. You can kind of see how thick that is. Now, look at this. So jank. That's just fucking jank as fuck. And it's like literally one layer of weave. And over a, Oh, this isn't even the one that you can fucking see all the way through. But on the other one, it's way worse. Yeah, well, we'll grab the other one in a second. But hey, it's a good thing I know a guy that's going to bolt it onto his car and test it. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I'd send this shit back so fucking quick. This is like stupid weak. I mean, I get that it's all light and everything, but like... It, there's no fucking supports. There's no anything to fucking like. This is gonna snap immediately. And it's, the hardware it's, it's they probably, sent with it's pretty jank. It's probably it's probably gonna break honestly when you even put it on. And then they're gonna be like, oh yeah, you fucking broke it. You can't fucking send it back because your quality control is fucking trash. If I was to rate this on a fucking car part, like out of ten, I'd give it like a one and a half. Not even a fucking two. This is just jank that, as fuck. That's on functionality. How about how sexy it is? Is that gonna give? I mean, me... I mean, I mean, at least it looks good. Like it looks nice. Don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, it's decent. It's definitely not the best I've seen. Definitely not the worst. At a ten, I'd give it like a six. But I mean, it's kind of funny because like they give you something like this just to cover, like. And it's just, it's, the shit's going to snap immediately. Oh, it doesn't even line up right either. No, it doesn't. <laughs> you kind of have to, yeah, that's going to snap. Yeah, you won't even be able to fucking put it on. It's going to break this corner right here. Sick. How about the other one? Because uh, that one you can see through, so grab that one real quick. Since now fucking, you're actually here. Yeah, so this actually, you know you can bolt on and not have to worry about it. Yeah. That's going to snap immediately. Yeah, this one's worse. Yeah. And this one fucking... You can see perfectly through it. <laughs> that Fucking is fucking just garbage. It's so bad. <laughs> Did it die? No, it's still oh, going, it's, dude. Oh, the fucking shit show up. Yeah. Yeah, the screen just auto turns off because, you know, new GoPro. Yeah. So that one, so I don't yeah, even know if I that's going to mount up. I mean, it looks like it would probably fit. But like I said, I mean, there's no structural integrity on these fucking things whatsoever you're gonna fucking put these on and it's literally gonna snap it right well, off well no we're gonna put in the tiny hardware it came with because that's what it came with so we're gonna use everything it came with well yeah but even test. even that is like the stress test is automatically gonna that fail. honestly doesn't even look like it's gonna fit that's probably even the wrong hardware but yeah dude that thing so as soon as i pulled it out of the box and looked at it same thing with the Cusco carbon uh rear strut brace i took pictures and i sent it to the manufacturer well look right there like, i don't know if you guys can fucking fuck. see that but there's already like a stress a stress oh, yeah. mark right there and you haven't even put it on yet yeah so that's the one that i saw some stress cracking in and then this one you can see in some of the corners it's starting to separate so like right there so yeah, this this is going to be fun. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, the belt flexes, bro. But yeah, that's definitely touching it. You already. can fit a piece of paper in there, dog. And it hangs down way too far. But oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> <laughs>